Matthew Broderick and Kelly O'Hara are bringing the Roaring Twenties to Broadway in the highly anticipated Gershwin tuner, Nice Work If You Can Get It. We're here at Gibney Dance Studios to get an early sneak peek at the cast and rehearsal. One, two, Nice Where You Can Get It is a new musical, but using songs by the Gershwins, and it takes place in 1927, and it uh, concerns uh, Jimmy Winter, who is a, a wealthy playboy getting married for the fourth time, and he gets mixed up with a trio of bootleggers, including uh, a bootlegger played by Kelly O'Hara, and they all end up at his Long Island mansion, and it then sort of turns into a, like, screwball romantic comedy. What is it like to be back on stage on Broadway doing another musical? Well, um... It's very exciting. It's, you know, uh, we're about to go to the theater tomorrow to move in, and it's just deja vu, you know. I'm happy to be back, and uh, I hope I still have the energy to do it. So how is this musical inspired by uh, OK? Well, it's very loosely based on OK, um, which was about bootleggers and, and a wealthy playboy. And that's about it. Joe G. Pietro has really written, there were characters in, in our show that weren't in OK. He's written whole new characters and whole new storylines. Um, it just sort of takes the bones of that and kind of builds on it. You have this new story that nobody knows what's going to happen. And you see that these songs have life outside of your the normal standard version that you, you think you know. Um, they we they breathe new life into them. They put them in the story in different ways than you've heard them before necessarily. and. Um, and so singing them is such a thrill. Like, was it? Um, did you choose the songs first, or did you kind of choose the songs around the story? How did how did the you know development work with this? I tried to pick songs that I thought fit the characters, and also have the plot spin the songs in a delightful way. So every time you hear a song, you hear it. You know, even if you know the song, you hear it in, in a way that's a little different than you'd expect. What is it about Gershwin music that's just so you know moving and powerful? I think it's for me, it's the. Um, Simplicity combined with the complexity of the, the chords beneath the simplistic lyrics. There's a lot of meaning beneath the simple words, but it's, um, it's infectious. It's memorable because it's infectious. As soon as a, a number starts, you know, you can see the heads sort of go, oh yeah, and the smiles happen, and the toe starts to happen. The nostalgia that comes, you know, wafting up uh, when you hear a certain melody, a Gershwin melody, it makes you think of home, it makes you think of you know, your grandparents or your parents. There will be people who will know these songs and they will, they will be humming along with this, no doubt. And then there's going to be this whole young audience that knows nothing of this stuff and they're, they're going to be discovering this the way audiences discovered this music 50 years ago. <laughs> audience member when I come to see Nice Work, what, what night am I in for? This is entertainment with a capital E, with people who know how to do it. You know, they've just spent their lives doing it and they're all at the peak of their careers. I can't tell you how in awe I am of uh, the ensemble is, the people who sing and dance in the ensemble are breathtakingly talented. We've just finished five weeks five and a half weeks of rehearsal and we're still screaming laughing sitting on the rehearsal you know floor um, that's a good sign I can't wait to feel an audience response to this material the music and the, the humor it's, I, I can't uh, say enough about the script and how funny it is I think people are gonna be just dancing out of the theater afterward hey we got Estelle Parsons we got Judy Kay you know you know we got Matthew Broderick and Kelly O'Hara so I'm just saying with uh, Kathleen Marshall's direction and choreography. 
I, I, I think you can't miss. Loving one who loves you and then taking that vow. It's nice work if you can get it, and if you get it, 